Hi, this is Ryan with Willwood Disc Brakes, and today we're going to be installing this big brake kit on a 2017 Dodge Ram. Before you start, read all instructions and warnings. If you don't know what you're doing, leave it to a professional. Alright, so now that we got the truck up in the air and the wheels and tires off, we're going to go ahead and disassemble the factory brakes. Remove the two factory clips from the brake line. The next step is going to be to remove the two factory caliper bolts. Slide the caliper off the rotor and temporarily hang it out of the way. Our next step is going to be to remove the soft line from the factory hard line. Remove the retaining clip holding the soft line on. And then you can fully remove the caliper. Be careful to clean up any spilt brake fluid immediately as it will damage paint. Our last step of disassembly is to remove the rotor. Prior to installation, make sure to clean and degrease the hub and the spindle ears where the caliper bracket will mount. To start the installation process, go ahead and grab a bolt and a supplied washer and install them through the spindle ear. Initially place one shim between the spindle ear and the bracket. Install the supplied bracket. Temporarily tighten the bracket down right now. To assemble the hat and rotor, start by taking the hat, placing it face down, and sliding the rotor on top of it. Start these all by hand to make sure you don't cross thread them. No Loctite is needed on these because there is already locking compound on the bolt. Tighten them down snug in an alternating star pattern. After snugging down all the bolts, torque them down in the same star pattern to the kit specifications. Slide the assembled hat and rotor onto the factory hub and temporarily hold it into place with three lug nuts. Slide the caliper onto the mounting studs and temporarily tighten them with the supplied washer and nut. Check the spacing between the rotor and the inside of the caliper on both sides. It should be the same. Once correct caliper side to side shimming has been achieved, remove the bolt, Loctite them, and reinstall and torque them. Torque the bolts per kit instruction specifications. Our next step is going to be to install the pads. Start by removing the clips and pins out of the caliper. Slide the pads into the caliper with the friction material facing the rotor. Reinstall the pins and clips. The next step is to check the pad 
to rotor height to make sure it's even with the rotor. In this case, we are low, so we're going to add a couple shims and recheck. We're going to start with installing two shims on each of the mounting studs and then reinstalling the caliper. After rechecking the pad to rotor height, we're good, so we're going to go ahead and torque down these nuts. Torque them down to kit instruction specifications. To install the line kit, start off with grabbing the caliper fitting and applying PTFE tape to the pipe thread fitting. Pull off the dust seal and install the caliper fitting. Install one end of the flex line onto the caliper fitting. Install the supplied chassis fitting through the factory bracket and into the factory line. Reinstall the factory clip into the chassis fitting. Install the other end of the flex line onto the chassis fitting. Reinstall the ABS line onto the new flex line. Check for clearance and binding issues by rotating the assembly side to side. Now that your brakes have been installed, make sure to bleed your brakes and note the factory 18 inch wheels will not fit. Refer to our wheel clearance diagram for proper fitment. After it's back on the ground, go ahead and bed your brakes in per our instructions.